Okay, and this is one of my favorite games from 2008. It's not one of my favorite of all time, but it was very uh, good financially. This was the last round of the National Open in 2008. Uh, somebody do a marker. And, and, and then uh, uh, we both had four out of five. So, and ratings are similar. I'm higher rated slightly. And the winner gets five out of six and like ties for first or second. I think second. I think a car won. And, you know, the if you lose or draw, you get no money. So you have to win this game. And I like this game a lot. And the final position is one of the most crushing final positions in chess history. Then there's a funny side story. So Sorry, should my I, neck hurts. I can't live. Should I say his real name or should I say his name on, on Twitch? I don't know. I don't know who you're referring to. So I have yeah, it's a guy on Twitch, and we don't say his real name because he doesn't want people to know. Oh, like a PP? Uh huh, right. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't do it. No, which one should I say? Oh, I don't know. I could say one of them. Well, you said PP, so I'm going to go with that. All right. Otherwise, we're giving it away. So, Puzzled Pawn was playing really low stakes limit poker after the tournament. I can't, I can't ask the question I want to ask. It's against Twitch guidelines. Um, would you rather watch football every day? Okay. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to do that, right? Or play limit poker the rest of your life? <laughs> I haven't played limit poker, but... Man, you wouldn't like that. Well, um, it seems like I did play it maybe on ACR once. Ugh. Yeah. I forgot. I, I used to play limit poker before No Limit was everywhere. Yeah, it seems boring. That's correct. Okay, so he was playing limit poker. Dimitri's at the table, mm -hmm. and Dimitri and the guy said, "Oh, you you lost to Ben Feingold. That's my friend." And he said, "He said, uh, uh, what did Ben say?" And he said, "Ben said said you played pretty well." And he says, "Oh, Ben said I played okay, mm -hmm. even though." He's a grandmaster. Like me telling him he played okay when he got crushed. That doesn't make any sense. Should be happy about that. Okay. So let's. This is a Nimzo Indian. Played c5. You can see this all in my chessable course. Okay. Now Karen, can you can hear me. If I play bishop g5 double question mark, how does Black win? Um, Pot Lemon is for Omaha, not for not for Texas Hold'em. You're banned, Bishop Stars. How does who win? I'm sorry. Black. Oh, black. Yeah, white just played Bishop G5 double question mark. Yeah. I ask this question a lot on the stream. Mm -hmm. He won Fabiano and Akaru. Did he put him in his pocket? Yeah, it's probably like, I don't remember all the moves. Isn't it like bishop f2? Uh-huh. Uh, knight g4. Mm-hmm. And then uh, and queen takes bishop. Yay, that's right. Okay, so I didn't do that. I played knight f3. And now, typically, my opponents will play knight c6 or castles. Mm -hmm. And then I play bishop g5. Okay, he... He played queen b6, and this is the Romanitian variation, because Oleg Romanitian was the one who popularized it. Mm -hmm. He's attacking my pawn, so he wants me to play e3, and now my bishop can't get out. Okay. He doesn't want his queen here, because he wants to play b6, bishop b7. The queen did its job. Now he goes back to c7. I have a lot of experience in this line. Okay, so bishop e2, a6... B3, B6, Bishop B2, Bishop B7. Now I played a funny move. What I like to do in this opening is play G4, G5, because the knight doesn't really have a good square to go to. But if I play G4 here, he can take it. And the engine says G4 is the best move. I should, I should let him do it. And also rook G1 to play G4, G5. But I played H3. 
because I want to play g4. He played bishop e7, and I played g4. And in this position, he made a mistake. He wanted to, you know, counterattack instead of stop g5. So what he needs to do is play h6. It's mm -hmm. necessary. But he played b5, question mark. g5, now where does his knight go? It's a Sophie's choice. So he, my knight g8 looks ridiculous. Yeah. So he played, he played knight h5. And now most people would be like, how do I win that knight? Because mm. it's trapped. I don't want to win the knight. I want the knight to be there the rest of the game and he can't move. So I don't care if I win the knight. Oh, give me the knight. Okay, so I played rook g1. That's the engine move. Played h6. That's the engine move. I played h4. He took, and in this position, I oh, bc is the engine move. Okay, it says I'm plus one. Knight c6. It says rook d1 is best. I played rook c1. Also good. Rook c8. Yeah, the dogs. Mm -hmm. Queen b1. Rook b8. Knight e4. And this one, I was really proud of this. The only thing wrong with my position is my knight isn't here. If my knight's there, then my bishop is on that long diagonal and my rook isn't blocked either. Right. Uh, and my knight's defended again, which could, might need to defend. So I was really proud of knight e4. That's the best move. Takes, takes. Knight b4. Knight d2. I was really proud of that maneuver. It says I'm only slightly better here. Okay, bishop a8, that's a mistake. All his moves are mistakes. a3. Knight c6 is good. Queen a1. See, I got my you know, mm -hmm. something going on there. Bishop f8. Always retreat. Setting up for the next game. Bishop c3. d6. Then I played c5. X clan. Former muscle. And what I want to do is activate my bishop. It doesn't sacrifice a pawn because this pawn is hanging on a6. So he took and I took. And now what I want to do is play a4, bishop b5. And now I'm winning, because now he can't do anything. His piece is all bad. Played rook d8, that's no good. Bishop b5. His rook was here stopping bishop b5. Terrible. Okay, now in this position... Now you're married to me, so this should be easy. He played a very ugly move. And you're familiar with very ugly because you're married to me. <laughs> he played a move that's ugly. So try to find like the ugliest move. And that's what he played. The ugliest move. Ugliest move. Anyway, somebody said, what are my thoughts about him being Fabian Naka and drawing Carlson? I think it's obvious what happened. It's obvious. I don't know what the ugly is. If Hans beats... King D7. It, what's ugly. that? I said King D7. That's good. Somebody said that in the chat. Oh, hey, good. somebody got it right. Somebody got the right answer. Okay. It's not right, but that's good. You found an ugly move. One ugly. He play, plays King D7 later. <laughs> okay. So somebody asked, what do I think about Hans beating Fabi and Naka and drawing Carlson? And I think it's obvious what I think. That well, Carlson obviously cheated. Otherwise, you would, otherwise you would have lost, like the other guys did. Okay, are you ready for his move? By the way, just to show you how bad Black's position is, the second best move is King E7. Confusing Karen. Okay, he played. Ready for the ugliest move? Yeah, I'm white. Rook H7. Oh that is snap! Ugly. Oh snap! Okay, then I played G6. So he took. And then I played queen b1 because I want to play queen g6 check with advantage. Mm -hmm. Now it says I'm plus five. Now king e7 is the best move. Jesus Christ. Okay, he played rook h6. I take. Bishop d6. Knight g5 is the best move. Now I have many threats. One of my threats is rook takes rook and queen g6 check. My other threat is knight takes e6 and he's forked. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Now, I can't explain his next move. No, there's no... Remember I said I don't want to win his knight. I just want to trap it. Mm -hmm. well, he played knight f4. It's just hanging. I don't know. I don't know. He wanted, to, he wanted to spite check me. I don't know. Because I took... It didn't make any sense. Okay. <laughs> just like, give him peace away for nothing. Then he played king d7, making a run for it. Then I take on e6, forking him. He plays rook e8, pinning my knight to my king. I play rook takes g7 check now he's got a problem he can't play knight e7 because it's illegal if he plays bishop e7 then my knight's not pinned so i can play knight takes queen mm -hmm. okay so he played king c8 now most people would play rook takes queen check and most people i know i would <laughs> most people would resign instead of playing king c8 but i played the best move because i was good in 2008 what move is better than rook takes queen check? Um, oh, yeah. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, you could go bishop a6. Bishop a6 is forced mate. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, that's the worst position I've ever seen ever. Like his queen's hanging, he's getting checkmated, etc. Mainly etc. And then that was the last round, so I won a lot of money because of that. Nice. And then, you know, I crushed him. So. Yay, 2008 was a good year. I like the way I played Shankland, Dmitry Gurevich, and Yur Malinsky and Holt, and I was higher rated than all of them. <laughs> now I'm lower rated than everybody who ever lived, except Dmitry Gurevich. Mm -hmm. Dmitry Gurevich has a serious case of old. Glory. Dang. He's 66, I think. No, he's 67. So he's he's lower rated than me. That's one of my favorite games, too, because it was in the last round for a lot of money. Mm -hmm. I like that. And are you going tonight? Probably. Let me see if that, they've texted That's the me. last game. But they're not even going until 930, so that's the problem. Mm -hmm. Is. I have plenty of time to get tired. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure, but maybe, probably. I ordered shirts like a week ago and they were shipped and I don't think we ever got them. But maybe they're still coming. Yeah, I never sell shirts. Okay. Well, if I don't get them, then we'll be. Shirt out of luck? Correct. Did you make that up about the shirts? No. <laughs> so you can tell your joke. No. No, I actually ordered shirts. <laughs>